Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a comparison between the Louis Vuitton Desk Agenda and the Louis Vuitton GM Size Agenda. So currently I'm using the GM agenda. This GM is a five size and this desk agenda, a lot of people use half letter size inserts, but these inserts that are here are a five size. So this is my current setup. This is my Louis Vuitton GM size. And this is the largest ring agenda you can purchase from Louis Vuitton. And I have this with quite a few sections in here it's really stuffed i have sections for self-care weekly planning i have section for home and family my business my nine to five job that i have um, note pages lots of things are inside of this agenda and i'm not done with the things that i can actually fit in here so size comparison, they are relatively around the same size. The GM is just slightly larger than the desk agenda. The height, the desk agenda is just a little bit taller. The rings on this agenda is 30 mm. They are quite large and they do hold a lot of paper. So. I am going to add more things inside of this planner because there are things that I'm working on, inserts that I'm making, and it's going to fit because I still have a little bit of space. I don't really open the rings and close them too much because I don't want the wear and tear on it. So what I do, I'm not sure if I did it with this one. No. Especially for my weekly section, I slit the inserts so they're easily removed like this. To kind of get the feel like i'm using a disc bound and i'll show you those discs in a few so for the desk agenda these rings are one inch disc these are from levenger and i haven't tried the 1.5 inch but i've read and i've asked quite a few people who also have the gm the desk agenda they also said that the 1.5 m is a little bit too large so what will happen if if you get um, larger rings than one inch it's going to put the agenda push it back like this it's not going to be even when you close it so one inch discs are the perfect size for this without any um, overlay or the agenda not closing properly so here's a comparison of the amount of paper that i have in both of them if you're looking to put a lot of different sections in the planner or to stuff it you have that ability to stuff it even with this amount of paper the desk agenda still has a little bit of room for more inserts and so does the desk the a5 size um, gm so definitely they do hold a lot of paper all together and I feel that they can equally hold around the same. Maybe the GM can hold just a little bit more because the rings are larger. But as far as the cap the capacity for these discs, um, you can fit a lot of paper in here. So with the pockets, they both have pockets in the front. They have a little pocket here and there's like a sleeve here, this one two so two sleeves and one pocket similar for both of them and you can stuff your stickers or cards or extra paper whatever you want to do you have that um, ability the difference with the desk agenda the front pocket is a little bit wider than it is on the um the the gm size sorry 
So when it comes to the back, they both have pockets just like the front. This pocket is a little bit smaller than this one on the, the agenda. And the desk agenda have credit card slots in the back so you can fit like six or more cards here. This does not have any card slots. It has a pocket here where you can add paper, stickers, cards. And there's also a pocket here in the back for the desk agenda. The back of the GM has a pen loop. The desk agenda does not come with a pen loop. So a solution for that is for you to purchase a pen loop and you can attach it to one of your dashboards or one of your dividers. I attached it to just a regular piece of cardstock. I had this from Sephora, so I just cut it and I added the pen loop on it. This gives me a pen loop like I would with the normal ring, ring planner. So the canvas on the desk agenda and the canvas on the GM are similar. The canvas is a little bit softer on the desk agenda. I've always loved that about this planner because it's very, it feels really good in your hands. It's like a really soft, cozy feel. This GM agenda also have that soft feel. The more you stuff it, the stiffer it becomes and it doesn't feel as soft, but it is soft. If you were to get one of the GM agendas that were old, the older ones aren't as soft as the newer one. This one was made in 2019, so it's fairly new and the canvas is soft. My older agenda was a lot stiffer and that's kind of like a pet peeve. I hated about it. That's the reason for me selling my old GM to repurchase a new one. So this canvas, definitely a nice feel. It's a nice soft material. It, um, it feels just as good as the personal size agenda if you have that one. So cost-wise for both of them, they are pretty similar in size and height. They can hold just about the same amount of insert. The GM can hold a little bit more. This is $800 now. The GM is $800. I checked it before I did this video. And this is, I believe it's $570 or $580. So it's an almost $300 difference for the price. But if you look at both of them, you can get the same thing you have in the A5 GM in the desk agenda. If you want to stuff it with lots of paper, you have that capability of stuffing your desk agenda, just like how you can with the GM. The sizes are similar. If you like wider size inserts, you can use A5 size inserts as I have here. These inserts are A5 size, same insert as what's inside of the, the GM. A lot of people use half letter with the desk agenda and I left a half letter insert here so you can see. So this dashboard is half letter. It's a little bit taller, but it's not as wide as the A5 size, so it will stop here. And even with the A5 size inserts that I have, I'm still able to add tabs on the right and it closes without any issue. So one thing I love about the desk agenda is the ability to change the disc. So these are rose gold, they're from Levenger. These are happy planner discs. So if you have a happy planner, you can kind of use some of your happy planner products you may have to trim them a little if they're a little bit too big but the rings you can swap them out for happy planner rings and i have these these are from the brand tool these are like a really light blush pink color and i believe these were sold at office depot i also purchased these from tool i never got a chance to use them but if i decide to make a notebook at home i have disc available so if you do have any Happy Planner products like this, I got from Happy Planner. This is for the mini planner. And I can use this as a bookmark in this agenda without any issue. It stops just as high as a regular bookmark would, but not so much when I use the half letter size. 
So this is from Happy Planner. I didn't trim it or cut it or punch it any differently. This is exactly how it came. And these are the measurements that I did when I started punching my inserts. So it's kind of a standard width in between each disc. You just have to know where to start it on your hole punch. So this is a Happy Planner hole punch. And I put a tape on the bottom of mine because I know if I'm punching for my disc agenda, I need to have the paper sit right on top of this washi tape so that it can line up evenly with all the other inserts that I have. So one thing that I love about the desk agenda is the ability to remove the inserts. And being that the desk agenda have that capability, I slit the inserts in my GM just because it's just easier on the rings. You're not constantly opening and closing them. I must say, even though I love the Louis Vuitton agendas, their rings, not so much. <laughs> I don't really love them that well. I feel like they're kind of flawed in a way where it doesn't really close all the way. And even with a brand new agenda, without anything in it, I still had like a tiny gap. And I've had the rings replaced a few times within this planner, so. Definitely don't open the rings constantly. I try to keep them closed and make little slits on my inserts. One thing that you can do with the desk agenda that you can't do with the GM, you're able to add notebooks and use this with a notebook. I added like a little bit of um, dot tape on mine to keep this steady because when this kept moving all around, it kind of drove me nuts. So I'm gonna take this back out. All right, so don't use double side tape in your agenda. Oh my God, that was so hard to remove. So this is one of the Erin Condren notebooks. It's five by seven size. And a lot of the planners, I believe the, like the Hobonichi are similar to this size. You can use it with a notebook. I mean, one small notebook like this is kind of like a waste because you have the space to fit a larger notebook but you do have that ability if you have like a planner already, you can use it in this agenda without having to purchase the disc and inserts. So I get a lot of questions about the size planners that can fit in the desk agenda if you're not getting like inserts. This is the Happy Planner. If you have the mini, this is the mini, sorry. So this is the mini Happy Planner and it does fit but it's not like a perfect fit. It just really looks kind of weird with the agenda being all the way in the bottom. So if that's if you like that look, the mini happy planner can fit and the Erin Condren planner cannot fit. It's way too wide and you're not gonna be able to close it over. And similar to the happy planner. So this is a happy planner and it cannot fit as well. So only small notebooks, five by seven, I'm not even sure, six by eight. I'm gonna link the agenda on the in the description so you can see the dimensions, but nothing really too big because you're not gonna be able to close it. And you have to keep in mind, it has to be able to fit underneath here. So if you're getting a desk agenda, you're gonna have to create a back for it to go underneath the flap. The way I created this is just from measuring one of the inserts and making it a little bit wider. I did put a little tape on the back to keep it secure because this was not snug. If you wanna make it fit the exact space here, it will make it a little bit more snug, I was told. So once you create that, you get your disc and you purchase your inserts. You can do printables, you can purchase inserts from different shops and you punch them and you have your own setup within the desk agenda. So this is my GM size, I love it. One reason why I love it so much is because of the rings. I'm a ring person, I love the gold rings. It's not a yellow, yellow gold like some of the rings. I did purchase replacement rings from Amazon to, to try to use in this. You can do that. Just keep in mind that it's gonna be a little bit bigger. The rings that are on Amazon, they come in rose gold and regular gold. You can do that. You'll just have to attach them to 
some type of um, thick paper, thick cover for the back just as well. One thing I didn't like about it is the agenda didn't close very well. It kind of was a little bit up because the rings are so large. This is why I mentioned in the beginning about having this that are 1.5 inch. They, the agenda doesn't really close all that well in my opinion. So I'm a big fan of the rings. It's really my favorite. Even the MM size. This is just a really nice planner to have. They both feel really well when you hold them. And if I had to pick one that I'll be using, it will definitely be the GM. Um, solely because of the rings. But I do love the desk agenda's ability to just open and close without having the snap. That's another issue that I have with um, this agenda. Because it's so new, it's when you try to open it it really tugs at the agenda and it's like you don't want to damage it but that's just how it is so i don't even close this um quite often i actually leave it open and i do love the fact that the desk agenda i can just open and close it so that's one thing i love more about these two agendas is not having the snap closure so if you have the mm at home and you're trying to decide whether or not you should go up but you're not sure which one to get they are about the same size. It's a lot bigger than the MM. So you're really going to get a lot more paper, right in space and things like that. So this is just so you can see the comparison. Um, there is a full comparison video, um, an older video that I have on my channel. You can search that below. I'm going to try to link that in the description where I compared all four of the agendas. I hope I was able to help you better decide which one of these agendas you want to purchase. Like I said, there is around a $300 cost difference between the two of them. And the difference is literally the, um, the rings and the snap closure. If you do like to stuff them, they can both be stuffed. You can fit a lot of pages in here. And they both feel really, really nice in your hands. They're big. They can fit A5 size paper if you choose. So that decision is up to you. If you want to do disc, you can use this. If you're a ring person, I definitely recommend the A5. But if you don't mind the disc or you have a notebook that you want to use, this is perfect for you. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions about these. 